Welcome to this talk, exploring how robots have impacted co-workers in industrial setting, presented by the Stanford Scholar Initiative. First, let's explore the current state of our world. Robotic technology in hospitals and homes has significantly changed people's perceptions regarding their social relationships. The impact of robots might not necessarily be the same across various domains. Studies in an industrial environment will save the future design of robots. This issue is crucial because coexistence with robots will improve production rates and decrease production costs, as well as lead to a co-working environment. The issue is hard to solve because robots resemble our perceived notion of social beings and changes incorporated in human behavior may be difficult to tap into if the human subject has been exposed to robotic environment in previous work experience. In this talk, we will ask ourselves how do we design robots that can replace human co-workers without impacting other workers? And does collaboration between humans and robots in the workplace cause social behavior changes in human subjects? In this paper, the authors explored the interaction between collaborative robots in an industrial environment with their human co-workers. An insight on how People working in different industries have different perspectives and attitudes towards the robots used and how human-like features in robots help us in accepting them as our counterparts. The real-world application of these findings are that incorporating social abilities in robots form an integral part of future designs and the robots will be able to interact with co-workers socially as well. visited three different companies and observed how robots interacted with their environment, reacted to different situations, performed their tasks, and how workers interacted with them. Moreover, they conducted semi-structured interviews with various stakeholders on all three companies. The authors accomplished this by observing the interactions and recording the interviews conducted, textual data from field notes as well as interview transcripts were analyzed by the use of a ground theory approach. Upon evaluation of the data, they formulated 11 codes denoting the perceptions and interactions of co-workers and robots, upon which selective coding procedure was applied. This led to formation of relationships between the axial codes. The relations revealed that different stakeholders had different perceptions regarding the robots. Also, social designs determined whether workers felt safe and maintenance and management staff considered robots as machines, whereas operators considered robots as friendly and familiar. Looking back, we see that we have answered our initial questions through the findings of the study, and this can lead to effective designs that can help in better coexistence of robots and humans. We would like to conclude by saying that the evolution of robots has been similar to that of humans and experiments so that robots which look like human lead to better coexistence and collaboration between humans and robots. This explains the evolution of robots in movies, such as Omnidroid to cute looking Marwin. In the near future, we will see better adaptation of robots in daily life, and certainly in industries and over the course, robots will look very similar to us and would have speech and other sensing abilities to interact better. In short, coexistence of robots and humans will be realized in the near future. For more information, visit scholar.stanford.edu. Thank you. For more information, visit scholar.stanford.edu. Thank you.